Hello DVD community and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is Oceanos coming back to Dawn of Titans and this is the first time the devs that did give us a relic that is already given and that relic will synergize the Titan. This is a good thing. Hope what the bust of Zeus will give Zeus the synergy <laughs> but it is not real, it will never happen. So uh, about Oceanos, is it a great? It is a great defender. It's still a my garrison alongside with the river. So uh, about Oceanos, about Oceanos, the thing that makes Oceanos a good defender is the freezing. If you attack with the Nexus, the Titans summoned by Nexus the Corruptor Titans will be freezed the whole battle, and when Zeus comes out, everything vanished. So more freezing. More freezing, more freezing. This is how Oceanus works. It's not about the damage, it's not about nothing. If you are going to put Oceanus as a defender, relying on the damage, giving him the Dragon Slayer alongside with the uh, resistance, etc., could make Oceanus a great defender. And uh, against Calvarex, he will destroy Calvarex for sure. But uh, if you tell me how could be Oceanus. As a defender, I'll tell you it's about health and ranged resist and melee resist and elemental resist. This is Oceanus how it works. Freeze, more health, resistance. This is Oceanus. I don't rely on the damage because it's not always, there is always a player who gets through your build but makes it tough. Giving him the rook with the health, it's gonna good big deal. About Oceanus, let's talk. But Oceanus, it's the same skills, nothing changed. Uh, Oceanus summons Potemi Knights, some Potemi Lords, and uh, some Potemi, you know, uh, Warriors. Uh, the Knights uh, with Oceanus, they don't have a lot of damage like the Reaver, but unfortunately, but it is the Freezing who will do the whole stuff. About the Potemi at Prestige number 10, it will guarantee you at Prestige number 7. Oceanus is, is already a good Titan, but you know, with the. Uh, a precision number 10 with uh, extra 1000% uh, uh, titan troop damage and armor it would make the big difference the damage it's not it's not the big deal it's the armor here uh, about uh, the uh, the resistance like i said oceanos it's not about numbers it's about freeze it's all about freezing if you have the right relics that makes the freeze go more you know it will guarantee yourself a good titan uh, the best way to defeat Oceanos right now, it is with Calvarex. This is the only way I'm seeing it getting... It's Oceanos. Uh, it's, uh, you know, if you want to attack Oceanos, it's, it's Calvarex. And if you want to surprise your enemy, give the Dragon Slayer to the Titan with the best setups, yeah, it's gonna be hard for Calvarex to win. About the prestige is the same, nothing, nothing change, it's the same. About the summoning, like I said, it is a good titan. Uh, so, uh, Oceanos likes the little maps, you know. The, if you have uh, that map that will not work with the river, it is the best map for Oceanos because E maps. Even the map will get slitter tight in it tight, it will make the titan uh, much more powerful. The freezing all alongside the dolphin carving the relic that was surprisingly given uh, last time. Dolphin carving the carving always, always good relics, and this time it will be synergized alongside with the base imperial health and titan troop health etc that makes the relic very relevant with right now with oceanos so the synergy with oceanos we have uh, we have extra more free freeze spells extra it's always good to go to get more free spells and the 200 percent free spells damage like about the damage well, if they would give us like uh, two seconds, three seconds for the freeze, it would get much better. At uh, at level ten, skills number three, seven Spotimi Knights invokes eight. It was like I think six. And uh, skills number four, Spotimi Knights will invoke seven. It was five. So uh, getting extra more troops, 
extra more troops, it's extra good thing always. Always? Uh, yes. About the event relics, Arcarchica, it's a good relic, the Wing on Raur, that relic is very really good for Imperial damage, and the Draco Glacius, it's a relic always given for Ace Titans. About the event, it's 23k event, the Dolph Carbon will be at 22, Oceanus at 19, and uh, that is Totec, given, uh, it's a part of collection relic, and the Krothos at the uh, uh, it's it's good. What's for at uh, 5k? Crowthos is good. About the boosters, the booster it's the, the lame leaderboard, and the boosters are Lazus Lubu Crystallis, Ever you are an Oceanos. The 1.2 are Ice Titans, the 1.1 are three Ice Titans. The Frost Candle is the where to go. Thank you, developers, for giving us a early blog this week. And uh, the synergy is good, the Titan will be much more better. Thank you for watching and see you very soon. Bye bye, my dear friends.